And uh, tonight's party might be a little less formal than you might be imagining because uh, Governor Youngkin's team has been encouraging people to come out wearing patriotic colors, cowboy boots, or some of those red fleece vests that he became well known for on the campaign trail. Now, the theme for all of the inauguration events this weekend has been about the spirit of Virginia. And during today's inauguration ceremonies, Governor Youngkin promising to strengthen that spirit during his four years in office according to the best of my ability. And with those words, so help me God. <laughs> Virginia gained its 74th governor as Glenn Youngkin takes the oath of office Saturday. Thousands attended the day's inauguration, filling the grandstands, among them past governors of Virginia, representing both sides of the aisle, including outgoing governor Ralph Northam. The ceremony featured songs and prayers before Youngkin and his fellow Republicans assumed their new roles, the latter two making history with their ascension. All the duties incumbent upon me. As Attorney General Jason Miares becomes the first Latino to hold statewide office. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears becomes the first woman of color to hold statewide office. I come to this office ready to lead and serve starting on day one. The now Governor Youngkin then addressed the crowd, calling for unity and promising to serve all Virginians, regardless of who they voted for, paraphrasing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We are one Virginia. We are all sailing in the same boat. And laying out his goals, Youngkin spoke of addressing COVID-19, supporting law enforcement and cutting taxes, he also spoke to one of the big issues in the final weeks of the campaign. To parents, I say we respect you and we will empower you in the education of your children. The ceremony was rounded out with a parade featuring groups from across the Commonwealth before Youngkin left to lead for the next four years. My fellow Virginians, it's day one. Let's get to work. Now back out here at Main Street Station after tonight's party, there is one more event to wrap up inauguration weekend. And that will be an open house at the governor's mansion hosted by Governor Youngkin and the new First Lady Suzanne Youngkin.